do have TA Voices here spawning the top right hand corner as the blue Terran. He is against Santi uh, in the bottom left hand corner as the pink Terran. Um, Santi, honestly, I'm going to talk about him for a bit. I played uh, ZVT against him once. I've seen a couple of his games, but mainly when I played him, I kind of saw him, and he was just really solid. Like, he was dropping me everywhere. I was just finding it really difficult to counter him, and his army didn't kill me. It was just him killing every single expansion I had, and me just going, <laughs> what do I have left? But no, nah, yeah. really solid work by him. But TA Voices, I've got to say, he is the favorite in this game. He is the more well-known name. He is a really solid player. He makes it deep into tournaments. Whenever he enters it, like, he, obviously no player wins every tournament, but he always makes it deep. His nickname on the 2H forums is Big Man or Sexy Man, so uh, he lives up to his reputation through his, uh, his SC skills. He certainly is a big, big character uh, within the, you know, the SCA community, so really looking forward to seeing what he comes up with. The thing I like about Voices play is that he comes up with a lot of harassment techniques. So not only does he like have a really good macro play, but all the way through it, like literally as soon as he's got a barracks made or as soon as he's got a factory made, he'll have units at the other side of the map, and he'll be using them to best effect. There might be one Marauder or, or two Marines, or it might be a couple of Hellions, but he'll be there at the throat of the other player, really trying to put them off the game. But it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with with the uh, the TVT. I know he's a strong favor of the 111 build, so it'll be interesting to see if he goes with the bio or something a bit more techy. I do think 111 is probably the strongest opening you can do here. Obviously, you can just bunker up if they decide to go for a Marine or bio heavy war or something like that, and you can stop it, but it lets you transition into the mid game a lot better. You obviously want to have a Viking, uh, you want to have. S priority, sorry, I said Viking. But Vikings are the way to get that, and that will cite your tanks, and getting to that point is just really awesome. Very, very awesome. We just had a note there from uh, one of the spectators of the game, just something a bit ad hoc, a bit outside of what we're doing, and uh, the, the point was ranged. Did you know that changelings, as in the Zerg you know, unit yep. that spawns from overseas, did you know that changelings wear pants? Really? <laughs> Apparently that so. That is astonishing. I actually want to go and make a changeling right now. That is really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. They wear the pants in a relationship. They they wear pants apparently. So there we go. Uh, we've got Sandy here coming a bit of a scout. That SCV is going to go down. There is no way they can outrun the absolute mean harassment there by that marine. He's, he's going to get in a scout though. He's just going to see everything. He's going to make sure there's no double gas going on right now, which is kind of the sign of a banshee build. Um, and there it is. Will he spot that though? Just checking. He hasn't seen a double gas, but it has been laid down by voices just as that SCV flees for its own life, but it's not going to make it. Yeah, so no. that could be actually a really big thing. That's actually really interesting. Did he actually see that second gas go down or not? That's my question. No, he didn't. I checked the vision already. <laughs> wow. So whether it, if he doesn't go uh, Banshees, obviously, then, oh, I'm going to look like an idiot. Like I do anyway, anyways, but still. Oh, look, it looks like it's a 1-1-1 build. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Now, he still needs to get a factory to get a start, but I'm still on target here. I'm still good. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see what he does here. Obviously, he does get a factory up. You do want a factory in this matchup. Moving the barracks. Um, interesting. Maybe he's... he's Sandy going start. for the, the, the reasonably fast expand, the 22 expand that we just saw that uh, happened in the last game with Wild. So, you know, obviously, uh, this could be an indicator that, you know, Sandy is doing a very similar build to Wild, which is the uh, the Marine tank push. But I'm not sure exactly how strong Marine tank is in TVT. Would you have any ideas there? I, I think it's, it's going to be strong, obviously, tanks being probably the strongest unit out there. Um, I'm just curious to see where he's going with this. Voices is bunkering up. So you might suspect some sort of early push or something like that, but maybe, uh, what's he building here, Tech Lab? I do think he is going to go for Banshee, just using sort of saving on money early on. We have a Reaper in the base, though. Oh, oh that, that is really nice. Good yeah. Is it, Marine's going to kill it. He's going to see everything. He's going to see the Tech Lab go down. He's going to see the double gas. And honestly, he's got to suspect um, Banshee's right now. He can start saving up his uh, income. Is he going to get it out, though? Oh, that's oh. amazing. That was a really, really well-positioned Reaper. I mean, it came up exactly the right part of the map. Uh, it, you know, it's really sweet. He's now got tower control of it. It's got eight HP, H, 8 HP left, but the good thing is he's seen exactly what Voices is doing. While Voices, you know, he's got the option of using a scan, which, you know, you don't want to do because then you get behind in the mule count. Uh, but he really needs to know what his opponent's doing because at the moment, he's playing in the dark. Mm, this engineering bay is going down. It's a good reaction, obviously, to seeing the uh, starport and the tech lab next to it. Uh, but it looks like he's just going to use it for Viking tanks so not actually going to pop it over so that's a bit of a good fake there as as we said just then too like um voices actually was forced to kind of do the scan there rather than do it like a, a scout or anything he needed to know what sandy was doing he did get that scan down and he has seen that there's two orbital commands sitting in the main there so he knows an expansion is coming soon so perhaps he'll go all right then maybe i can do a bit of a timing attack here on this expansion now that sandy's going to be a little bit weak until you know he gets that macro production back up running i do think he might be doing a drop he does have units here ready outside of starport we do have a medevac coming out um, it's got a lot of units, so is he going to wait for two dropships, or is he going to go with one? I'm not sure. 
Um, or maybe he's just going to have the medevac there to heal the marines, but I would like to see a drop. Yeah, me too. I mean, you got like almost eight marines there, so it would be good to see them all loaded up and just go in. But also, maybe a tank and four marines would be awesome, but I think, you know, Voices, I, I've never really seen him do drops that much, so it looks like he's going to do a push. That's what he would usually do. That's more his style. I don't think he really trusts medivacs that much as far as, like, uh, transportation units, because he doesn't like splitting up his main armies. He really does like, when he plays, to keep a, a ball, a bulk troop. Um, but, you know, if he does do it, I could be proven wrong, but here comes a, you know, looks like a ground push now. That's that. So he's going to be able to prepare for this per perfectly, which is awesome. But the other thing is, he had to attack right now. If he didn't attack, he had to expand. If he didn't do either, he's out of the game. Yeah, precisely. And we, we had this in the conversation before. One of the things is when your opponent, as you said a million times, when your opponent expands, you've got two options, and those are expand or attack. And you know, I think it's really good that Voices is pushing now, especially with tanks. They're so effective. Although he hasn't got Siege ready yet. Like, it's, it's on its way, but it still has another 40 seconds after build time. So... Uh, well, here here comes an encounter now, though. SCVs at the front, pulling SCVs to do this. He has Marauders. He is not sieged up. Um, but honestly, I do think the tanks have a bit of a stronger push here. Marines, uh, I think there's just too many Marines there, to be honest with you. Marauders don't do that well against them. Yeah, precisely. Those Marines are really great meat shields for those tanks to get those shots. Obviously, you know, Marauders are armored units, and tanks do bonus damage against armored, being 25 per shot. And they've got a reasonable rate like uh, of fire, which is one, as you know, a Marine is 0.86, so there's really not much of a difference there. Tanks shoot much, much faster in SC2 as they did in SC1. Oh my that. god, quick sight for that. Wow, that. loses that. But the thing is, was it really worth it? Like, when you do that stim, I mean, you do so much damage to all of your units, you don't have any medivacs there. You, yes, you did destroy one tank, but overall, was it worth it? I'm not quite so sure. And now the tanks are quite in well positions. Those marines are really mopping up any kind of attack, because marauders are going to be stopped by those marines, and he's slowly making his way down to the expo, which is really what Voices is looking to do. Also, he's expanding right now, this being Voices, so using this attack to cover his expansion, there's no way on earth he's going to go and attack the expansion right now. But Voices, putting on the container here, this is why 111 is so strong, because you get tanks, and you can do this. Right now, his barracks heavy player, uh, sorry, racks heavy play from Santi, really not doing that well. Yeah, and then the thing is, Santi's really kind of caught out in the open with his troop placement. I mean, the Marauders are kind of all spread out of the place. I mean, yeah, sure, it's good against tank fire to have your, your Marines spread out, your, your Marauders spread out. But the fact is, like, they're just really in bad position to defend. Like, there's nothing you can really do. All he has to do now is kind of run away, save that little extra. Um, command center that's now fleeing for its life, try and macro up and get back in this game. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to be able to do that though, because those siege tanks can get nice positioning and, and like dominate anything that comes down the ramp. Hitman hey, Voices also is getting a base up right now, so he will be getting an advantage. This orbital command as well, I think it will burn down, uh, even if it does run out of range. I don't see it living. There's no SCV We do have this. Yeah, there's SCV just near it, but uh, he's uh, dead now. <laughs> oh no, he's oh, not. No, he's he lives. He lives, but the SC does. No, nah, Command Center doesn't, though. There you go, so that Command Center does go down. Obviously, Santi in a very, very awkward position here. Barracks heavy play without a push, I think is quite weak in, PV in TVT, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also like to think, um, Voices is a very ruthless player. Like, he does not leave anything unchecked. I have to say, like, Santi, I'm, I'm actually a lot more impressed with his scouting during this game. Yeah, push out, though. Voice He's trying to break out here. He's just well. picking off units, but these tanks are just slaughtering him. He's stimming as well. He doesn't have medevacs to heal him. And these medevacs are making a lot of difference in this encounter. Oh yeah, definitely. And the ability to heal your troops like that, those marines are all on full HP. Using the medivac to drop the tanks in his base, we're going to see a siege up, and there'll be nothing, absolutely nothing they can do, because now the production of Sandy is going to be affected due to the fact that the production buildings are going to be sniped. But you know, dropping the tanks to make sure that they don't go, and, and GG. voices, and GG, cool game, good game. Santi, I mean, I was, he's a good player. I mean, take my word for it. He didn't play that well then, but he is actually a very slow player. Uh, this is like round three already, so he has won a few games. Uh, but Voices, he is just a very, very good player here.